Hello, Dr. Burke here. In this video, we're going to talk about insulin resistance and vitamin C, okay, the relationship. Insulin resistance causes excessive amount of production of insulin. So you have high insulin. Okay, that's a pre-diabetic state and it's diabetes as well. That will deplete your vitamin C reserves. Okay, so vitamin C deficiencies not only can come from not consuming enough vitamin C from your vegetables, but it can come from high levels of insulin. Okay. So the primary target for vitamin C deficiency is the vascular system. Okay. So take a look. We got the blood vessel here. And what happens is you have this little lining uh, around the blood vessel. It's called the epithelial wall, the epithelium. It's a very uh, tiny single cell wall of cells that allows exchange between the lymphatic system right on the outside of your blood vessel. The function of this epithelial wall is fluid filtration. So it filters fluids like electrolytes and fluids. And uh, if you think about um, it goes through the kidney and you filter blood as urine. So this is what lines it as well to allow for the filtration. So it's a filtration. It's a blood vessel tone mechanism. So basically it has receptors for measuring uh, blood pressure. So vasoconstriction and vasodilation. So that's probably why insulin resistance will cause high blood pressure in a lot of people. Uh, white blood cell defense. So you have this lymphatic system here. This is like the immigration stamp of approval. So if it goes through there and you don't get the same stamp of approval from immigration, you get this immune response and it creates inflammation and all sorts of a cascade of issues. And really what happens when you become um, insulin resistive, you uh, create a problem with vitamin C. So vitamin C can no longer build the collagen in certain places. So therefore, we, don't, we have a little break in this, uh, this little wall right here because the collagen's, it's all collagen. So then what happens, we have an immune reaction and then it's called a lesion. It's kind of like leaky gut, but in the arteries. So we have number one, vitamin C deficiency that comes from high uh, insulin. And then we get the immune reaction inflammation and then it signals a Band-Aid from the liver. It's called LDL. It's called bad cholesterol. It's not really bad. It's just LDL comes in there and starts to form a patch. Okay. And then you have, uh, you have um, uh, calcium that comes in there that helps and other connective tissue. And that's really the chain reaction of events that happens when you get a clogged artery, but it starts way over here. Unnecessarily, people are targeting cholesterol being the villain. It's not. It's late in the chain of events. It's trying to help you. And if you have any questions or confusions or doubts that uh, it's not cholesterol, watch the video that I put down below. That'll explain it because your body makes 3,000 milligrams of cholesterol every single day. So you don't even eat a fraction of that. And so it's, that's not the culprit. It's the refined sugars that spike insulin that then create this whole cascade of problems. This little wall right here, the endothelium, actually has properties that are anti-clotting factors. Okay? So when those get disrupted, again, it, it sets up the whole body to form a clot right here, but it all stems from this vitamin C deficiency, and if we take it earlier, it's high insulin. So again, it could be that you're not consuming enough vitamin C from the diet, or it could be the sugar. Okay, so the foods that are high in vitamin C are the greens, the leafy greens, the salads. Bell peppers have massive amounts of vitamin C. Chili peppers, parsley, cabbage, even organ meats. Okay, not that you're going to eat that, but that has vitamin C. So you really want to get the best of both worlds. You want to get enough vitamin C from the diet and you want to cut out the sugar. Another symptom of vitamin C deficiency is would be um, bleeding gums or like your gums are swollen, periodontal disease, um, or spider veins. I'll do, another, I'll do a separate video just on that. So number one, fix insulin resistance, and number two, get enough vitamin C from your diet. I'll put some links down below if, you've, if you need to know how to fix insulin resistance. Thanks for watching. Hey, you probably already subscribed, but if you haven't, press this little button down below and I will keep you updated.